Hugh Hank. Uh, the governor of New Jersey is going to be touring some of the storm damage right in our area. And we, of course, have four people that are still missing in New Jersey. Let's get right out to Steve Keeley. Steve. All right, Karen, you and the viewers get ready to see something you likely never saw before. So we're along the Delaware Canal, and that canal can sometimes kill uh, all the way back from Jessica Savage, the great news anchor from Philadelphia. This house was picked up off its foundation and carried into the water till it crashed into trees and a bridge of uh, this house along the canal, completely smashed and now teetering. And you can see the uh, orange stickers that we're now familiar with here in New Jersey after these tornadoes, unfit for habitation. Not that anybody needs to know that because it's completely obvious. But look at this house here, a two-story house that was picked up by the floodwaters. That's how strong they were. We're going to be a walk to the other side. So here are, there's so many bridges over the canal. And as it snakes through town here across from New Hope, Box County, Lambertville, an antique center along there. Uh, a lot of tourists come here, but a lot of people live in this quaint town. And look at this. Here we are on the bridge. This house is a big house, or I should say was. There are the hardwood floors, and you can see the water still running beneath it. And oddly, look at the kitchen cabinet. Even though it's on a 45-degree angle now, look at the wine glass is still neatly stored in the cabinet, despite the house being picked up and torn down. There are the curtains on what was sliding glass windows or doors. And there you can see the wedged air between these trees that didn't give way. Wow. Here is Governor Murphy on the Sunday talk shows yesterday mentioning why New Jersey needs so much help if you can't see it with these pictures. We screamed uh, loud and clear tornado warnings, uh, flood warnings, flash flood warnings. We begged people to get off the road. Uh, and still you've got 27 losses of life and enormous destruction. We had rain in, in many communities in two or three hours that were equivalent uh, to what they normally get in a month or two. And, 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 and this, sadly, we think is part of, the, part of what we're going to be facing, more frequency and more intensity. The president and FEMA have been extraordinary in the, in the reaction to this storm, but as a proactive matter, we need Congress to step up right now. And so the TV hanging on the wall what was a family room or a living room, and uh, we hope that the family got out of here before this happened. We just don't know yet, and we'll find out later today for sure, but these uh, are the first images I have seen, and Karen, you mentioned the bosses uh, may be off today. Uh, I shifted, uh, arguing strongly to not be at the shore today, which we are Labor Day, and you can see why I wanted to push for this. And uh, let me just give you another image, a lasting image that for sure in my mind. So uh, cars were picked up and smashed as well uh, all through this town. And uh, here you go, just caked on mud with this SUV. And there is the New Jersey license plate where you see a close-up shot where it says Garden State. And wow, just look at that SUV just smashed. And you don't know where that started out either. But that was obviously picked up and carried uh, before it was smashed uh, and left here by the flood water. Karen, wow. It is well. We're really just dealing with so much from that. And Steve, thanks. Let's also talk about the water.